So this is a video on how to paint power claws. So we've got a model here that's ready to go. Um, what we're going to do is he's got dual uh, lightning claws. So we're going to do them uh, at the same time. And right now they're primed with chaos black spray. So what we're going to do here is light them up. So the first color we're going to use on our lightning claws is going to be uh, just a basic light blue color. So our first choice is going to be Calgar Blue, but there are lots of other choices you could use. We're going to use those to put the base color down. And as you can see right here, we're just going to paint the entire claw this nice blue color. So we'll do this for the rest of them and we'll be right back. So this is our model now that we finished with the Calgar Blue. And as you can see, each claw is nice and bright and colored. So what we're gonna do now is add a little bit of a shade color. So it's not a shade paint, it's a shade uh, color. And we're gonna use a little bit of Cantor Blue. So what we're gonna do with that, I'm gonna keep it nice and watery. And we're gonna put it at the base of the claws like so and so and so and so and then we're going to dry our brush and then we're just going to feather that down the shaft of the claw giving us a little bit of depth there, see? So we'll probably do another layer of that just to make it a little darker, because we're gonna want dark on the beginning, fading off into lighter as we go. Like that. Just dry our brush and knock the color from the edges, getting the lighter color to come through the bottom. So something like that, see? So one side is all light blue, and the other side is more of a shaded blue, kind of from the beginning working way forward. So we'll do that with both claws inside and outside. I'll meet back here in a few minutes. Now if you go too far with your Cantor Blue, you can always dry bash on some of that Calgar blue on the end again because you can build the gradient either light to dark or dark to light but as you can see we've definitely got our gradient right here you can see how it's light moving into dark same as on this side here. So we'll let that dry for a few minutes and then we'll meet back so now that we finish that. We're gonna move on to our next color and we're gonna use Lothurn Blue. But what you want is just a very, very bright and light colored blue. And we're gonna do an edge highlight with that. All up the edge of the claw here. Just like so. Nice and bright there. So we're going to do that for each of the claws on the outside and maybe possibly on the inside depending how pointy they are. And we'll meet back here in a few minutes once that's done. So here we finish with our Lothran Blue Edge Highlight. You can't quite see it against the white background but if I put my hand in the way, you can see how the edges are done. And then same as on that one there. See how our edge highlight goes all along the entire length of 
the claw. And then the same thing with this one over here. And they go right back along the whole length. So now that we finished with the Lothran blue, we're ready to move on to our last color. So for our last color, what we're gonna do is another edge highlight. But in this case, we're just gonna go right around just the, the bottom touch of the fingers. And we're gonna do that with some blue horror, which is considerably brighter than the Lothran blue. And our plan is to make the edge of it glow. So we're just gonna take that little tiny bit of blue horror and just run it right along the very edge here the lower half and it seems really bright but it will dry a little bit dimmer Same thing on the inside. Just like that there. So that you can definitely see gives us our glowing claws. So, so these are our finished power claws or lightning claws as you can see. I think they look good. I hope this uh, little tiny tidbit of a video helped you out. Um, like I said, you can definitely see them a little better against a darker background. So if you like this video, please feel free to share it, leave a comment, leave a link, leave a like, and we'll see you again in another time when we do another little painting video. Cheers.